Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 8 of season 3 of Blue Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Jesus Christ with all the damn needles. God, his eyes are so pretty though. Look how tired he looks. Oh, poor baby. Of course. I mean, come on now.
course, because once again, as he said, he's not ready to kill someone. Ooh. What are you making a <laughs> I'm guessing that's bad. I mean, d didn't he just say that you, he, you can't kill him? That the only one who would kill him was him? So why would you want to do that? Why are you going to be around that? But this is stupid behind man. I'm sorry. Worse than freaking what's her face from Tonga and Ropa. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, her fantasies was wild. We all know that. Let's see. Shemmy's still knocked out. Oh my god. More zombies. What the fuck? Oh, Shimmy! Oh my god.
There's got to be a way he can get out of here, though. Okay, go! You can fit through that! Oh god, it's, it's a slide. Girl, you're not going to eat it, are you? Now you're finally awake. I mean, but wouldn't that also kill him, too? Because that room is entirely small as hell, and, and I'm just saying. What well, damn Shima? That's a sad sense of reality. That's it?
In a way, yeah. Everything's changed. Uh oh. Well, there's two. But that's still too much. He doesn't know if he's still sure about this. You went in right there. Like, okay. I don't like the fact that Shima is just like, okay, because I get it. He just, he can't really do anything, but something tells me we're going to have Shima fight them next week. I, I really, like, at first I'm thinking we were, it was going to be him and Mila at first. No, if it's, if it's that, I will be surprised. If it's all of them against Shima, that's still going to hurt because friends and you want to kick his ass and bring him back and be like, why the F did you do X, Y, and Z? What's wrong with you? But the fact is also what Izumo the fact is that she's 0 0.08 of a chance and she has a high possibility of dying during this experiment. And Mihail is basically over here just saying, test it again and again and again and again. We can't fail Lord Lucifer and such. I, I get it. But if someone tells you we can't do this, she's gonna die. Shut it down. Shut at ish down. Be like, let's find somebody else. Don't find someone else in her family. Find a different test subject. Who knows? I hate to say that too, but hey. I don't know. Mm, this too much. How the heck they gonna escape Mihail and Shima next week? Like, bruh, no, like. I mean, they're all together, thank God. And, and then Kuro is also there too, but still. How are y'all getting out of this next week? I don't know. 
We have nothing. We have nothing to go on as of right now, <laughs> which it is very highly messed up. And it's just like, I want to know. But at the same time, like, I, I, I can't wait a week. Just like with a sign of affection. I can't wait a week. I need to know now. Like, bruh, g- give me something. Give me some clarity, some little sense of hope something but I do like the fact that we got like a lot of backstory into this I mean you know how like season two um was heavily focused on Bond and stuff I love how we with this episode we got that continuation I love that Miwa got a moment to really shine like in that last little bit like yeah you think like damn this kid is about to freaking die like I feel for him because I, I mean okay like out of all the guys he is by far the weakest in the group depending like physical physically wise yes but mental he is still one of the strongest he can do something at like when he really puts his foot best foot in in my opinion but i get it where it's like you think like there is no way that you can get out of it yes you accept defeat you accept death in that moment but going back and literally having like an epiphany and thinking of the conversations that he's had with everyone excuse me i'm not saying how important he is because he is important just as much as everyone else in this group i love how it just instantly like lit a fire in his butt and being like okay i gotta get this done I gotta survive to see my friends again. And I really, truly love that. That was the same thing initially for Bon and such. The backstory on Bon really, like I said, super good. I love the fact that we got to learn a little bit more because, like I said, it's been a long behind time since we all saw season two. And it, it's just, it's continuing his story from that, which I really adore a lot. But I really hope that they can get Ethan one time. That's all I care about. Other than that, that is my reaction review towards episode 8 of season 3 of Blue Actresses. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.